Tonight, the formal transition of power. The Trump administration finally lets the process begin. The GSA informing president-elect Biden's team they can begin the process. We have late details coming in. The president-elect names key and diverse members of his cabinet, some of them making history. He plans to nominate Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary and appoints a familiar figure as his cabinet-level climate czar. The newest vaccine breakthroughs as the virus soars. Its maker says it's up to 90% effective and is cheaper and easier to ship and store. With at least three vaccines now showing promising results, when will the first doses be available and will Americans trust the vaccines? Despite urgent warnings, people are traveling this holiday week at the highest level since March. More than one million flying in just a day. Tonight, the parts of the country most at risk as hospitals see more record numbers. The search for solutions, how to keep schools open safely, why some are succeeding even as the pandemic grows. The big new recall by GM, almost six million vehicles could be on the road with dangerous airbags. Which models are affected? And holiday displays for our times. My report honoring the heroes on the front lines. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. There is breaking news as we come on the air tonight. The government's General Services Administration is for the first time acknowledging Joe Biden's win for president, notifying the president-elect that the formal and official transfer of power can begin. The decision comes more than two weeks after Biden was projected as the winner and after a series of legal and procedural defeats in President Trump's efforts to overturn the results. Let's go right to AstraZeneca today became the third drug maker to announce it has produced a safe and highly effective vaccine, renewing hope that Americans could receive doses perhaps within weeks, at least the first Americans. Keir Simmons reports. All right, Richard Engel tonight, thank you. And despite the promising vaccine news, there's still a great deal to be concerned about from so many ignoring the travel warnings to infections soaring and more hospitals overwhelmed. Here's Blaine Alexander. The search for solutions, the growing debate over whether closing schools will actually help stop the COVID surge. NBC Stephanie Gosk went to one. Breaking news now about millions of GM trucks. Safety experts say their airbags are dangerous. GM disagrees. Sam Brock tells us the government had the final word. Just 60 seconds for so many this Thanksgiving. It's a non-movable feast. How to prepare for your smaller gathering. Well, safety is a high priority this Thanksgiving, so in many homes, there will be fewer people around the table. And Vicki Wynn tells us that has small turkeys in big demand. Princess Diana's brother speaking out as the new season of The Crown is putting her private life back in the spotlight. Kelly Kobiea has more on the controversy. In this season of celebration, we may find it hard to find joy in all the ways of old. After all, we've lost so much. Yet we've also discovered the heroes among us and how they are being celebrated this holiday season.